morning, LMS. I hope you're having a fun morning so far. Now let's head on over to Lindsay, who will fill you in on today's school news. Hey, LMMS, it's me, Lindsay, here with your school news. Today is day three, Thursday, March 11th, and these are your student announcements. Do you like March Madness brackets? Do you like reading books? Here's Mrs. Bullris with an exciting announcement for this year's LMMS March Madness book bracket. And once again, LMMS, it is time for our March Madness book bracket. All the top seeds are in based on book checkout and popularity in the library. Smile makes a comeback this year, a number one seed once again. Last year, our winner was A Tale Dark and Grim, which this year didn't even make the tournament. Such a disappointment for all those Hansel and Gretel fans. Our top four seeds are Smile, New Kid, Refugee, and Ghosts. Three graphic novels are in the top four. Wow, what an appearance. A new surprising oldie but goodie makes an appearance this year due to the overwhelming amount of checkout requests. Skeleton Creek, you guessed it. Be sure to check that one out if you haven't already. Be sure to vote in our first round. Voting will continue throughout. Stay tuned from the, on the Library Schoology page for updates. Thanks, Mrs. Boris. In other school news, did you know Student Council is working on a small surprise to help raise school spirit? Look for a delivery in your homeroom in the near future. There will also be an announcement about School Spirit Week coming soon. Orchestra, 8th grade chorus, and 6th grade band will be held ninth period today. There's a grab-and-go breakfast every day at 7.15 a.m. Today's lunch is cheesy beef nachos with carrots and peaches. Monday's lunch is chicken cheesesteak hoagie with crispy cut fries and peaches. Today is the last day of the second trimester. Your third and final trimester classes, gym, health, or computers, will start on Monday. Monday is a hybrid A day and a cycle day four. Remember, there is no school tomorrow, so enjoy your long weekend. That's all for school news, and let's head on over to CC to see what world news stories she has to share with us today. It is Cece here with your world news for today. Last year, there was a baby harbor seal that was rescued in California. That same seal is now living its life in New York City. Sydney, the seal, has been res was rescued in Laguna Beach, California back in 2020. Sydney has now been introduced to people all over as the new animal added to the array at the New York Aquarium in Brooklyn, New York. Sydney was just a newborn when she was discovered back in California. She has had the past year to grow and has become a lively young animal. This harbor seal will now have a place in the New York Aquarium for as long as it lives. Say, LMS, will you be heading to, up to New York City to see this animal? That's all I got for you today. Now let's slide on over to Hannah with your weather update. Hey, LMS, it's Hannah with your weather update. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 68 and a low of 52. Tomorrow will also be partly cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 32. That's all for me. Now on to Taylor with your sports update. Bounds. Good morning, LMS. Happy Thursday. Are you excited for a three-day weekend? Let's head right into sports. In the NCAA, Pittsburgh lost to Miami 79-73. Gonzaga defeated BYU 88-78. And Duke crushed Boston College by over 30 points with a score of 86-51. In the NHL, the Flyers beat Sabres 5-4. And lastly, in the MLB, the Rays beat the Red Sox 11-3 and the Tigers dominated the Yankees 6-5. Now I have a bunch of random sports news to share. Now as we know, the NFL draft is quickly approaching on April 29th and will go to May 1st. The Jaguars will have the first pick and the Jets will have the second pick. The Buccaneers have the last pick and they are looking for a player for the defensive line. Additionally, Trent Brown, a former Patriots player, will be coming back to the Patriots after his one-year deal he had with the Raiders. 
Lastly, on the Gonzaga women's basketball team on Tuesday, Kaylin Churong inbounded the ball to Jill Townsend with less than a second left of the game. And Townsend scored after Jen Wirth screened her and after 6'7", Sarah Hampson defended her. Townsend still managed to take the epic shot. Well, I hope you enjoyed sports. Now over to Issa with her last entertainment update of the week. Hey guys, it's my last day of the week on Buzz, even though it's the last day of our school week. LOL. Okay, Netflix is the highest rated streaming service in 2021. Shows Netflix have already removed are Hunter x Hunter and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I tried to watch Hunter x Hunter then gave up once I hit season 2. LOL. On March 16th, they will be taking off Chicken Little. No need to worry though, my Chicken Little fans. It will be on Disney Plus for a long time. Okay, now on over to spring versus winter weather, teacher. I have to ask you a question. The answer is... Mrs. Krause, do yeah. you prefer winter weather or spring weather and why? Um, spring weather, why? I'm not a big fan of snow. Mm -hmm. um, so I would have to say spring because it gets a little bit warmer and the flowers are starting to bloom. That's a really good answer. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Yes? Winter weather or spring weather? Spring weather. Why? Because we can barbecue, cut the grass, the birds are singing, and no more snow. Mr. Hart, yes, do you Lisa. prefer spring or winter weather and why? I prefer winter weather um, because to me, like spring at first glance, it seems nice. Yeah. But then like it's always like mushy and wet and gross, like when all the snow is melting. Like I really don't like that. But like when you get fresh snowfall and it's like the ground is hard, you can walk around on it in the winter. But in the spring, it's like a mushy nightmare. Hi. Do you want to know if I like spring or winter weather better? Well, my outfit says winter, but my brain says spring. I like spring better because I like flowers and I can walk outside. And then it's almost summer and then you can have watermelon because I love Harry Styles. <laughs> Oh, I would definitely say spring weather. I like being outside. I don't like being cold, so I would say spring weather. I'm going with spring weather also for the shorts. <laughs> we wear shorts and flip flops. Any uh, other we, reasons? Yeah, we call them thongs back in the West Coast. But no, <laughs> no, no. You can have to edit that. Edit that out. No. I learned quickly that they're flip flops back in the Midwest on the East Coast. You called them thongs? Yeah, we did. No. It's a regional thing, I guess. <laughs> In fact, Mr. G is not lying. In many places around the world, a flip-flop is called a thong. Spring or winter weather? I would have to say spring weather because it's that much closer to summer weather. Thanks for watching today's episode of BuzzTV LMMS. See you Monday.